Hey church, it is so great to see y'all. We are a little over halfway through the month, so I want to bring you some updates from our church council about our campus closure, our ongoing response to COVID-19, and how we continue to adapt during this time of pandemic. The church council voted unanimously last week to extend the closure of our campus and the suspension of all in-person activities at New Hope now through October 30th. Our decisions continue to be guided by all available data and science. White House and CDC guidelines for reopening places of worship still state that 14 days of declining new case numbers is needed before entering into phase one of reopening. And the good news is we are getting there. Our county has done a great job in recent weeks of keeping new case counts low. Sugarland Methodist Hospital is reporting that hospitalizations have come way down since the surge over this past summer. That said, our county and our state health officials are still cautioning us that we need to remain vigilant and mindful and not let up from our work. We still have a ways to go to be where our health officials would like us to be. In addition, as you've heard me mention in these past updates, uh, we are continuing to work on the electrical and sound and visual components in our sanctuary. We are receiving final bids and we will begin work soon on those projects, but we aren't really ready to welcome people back to in-person worship before those projects are complete. It's important for you to know that particularly with our new council members coming on board soon, we are keeping in mind a longer term timeline. But for now, we are revisiting this decision every two weeks and we will continue to make these announcements on a monthly basis. It still isn't safe to resume in-person worship at this time. As always, as always, this is subject to change as new data become available. Our highest priority remains your health and your wellness. We are close, but we're not there yet. I know that you are eager, eager to come back. I hear you. I am too. We are continuing to work as hard as we possibly can to make our return to in-person activities as safe as possible, while also providing the same level of quality worship services for those who aren't able to or who don't yet feel safe to return to in-person gathering just yet. Whenever we are able to return to in-person worship, things will look and will be very different. And we want to be sure that we have all of our logistics and procedures and the hardware and software capabilities in place before we start welcoming you back. And all of that said, church, even though we remain physically apart, we are not isolated from one another. We are continuing with our online worship services and we pray and we hope that you have been blessed and enriched by them. We are doing what we can to make you feel like you are a part of those. We've been keeping up with our congregation check-ins twice a week over Zoom. If you haven't, uh, checked in on one of those yet, I really want to encourage you to do so. There, there is a deep connection there, connections that are being formed, new connections that are being formed uh, that we want to encourage you. We hope that you will participate in. We continue to be drawn together by the grace and love of God that knows no bounds or limits. We commune with one another and together as the body of Christ whether we're present together physically or present together virtually and online. Jesus says, where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among them. Dear friends, that includes our virtual community. Christ is present here. The best way to get all of the latest and most up-to-date information on everything happening here at New Hope is through our Thursday afternoon e-blast newsletter. Our email newsletter has updates about worship, faith formation, ways for you to continue to be involved in serving our community right from your own home. That's the best place to get all your information all together 
in one place. If you're not already subscribed to our eBlast and you would like to be, please send an email to info at newhopelc.org with the word eBlast in the subject line and we will get you added to our distribution list. The links to our weekly eBlast newsletter are also posted to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash newhopelc. Please note that our office remains closed at this time. Our staff are working from home and only coming up to campus for essential functions related to producing our worship services. We can all be reached through our emails, our cell phones. We are regularly checking our messages. We can also receive calls to the office on our cell phones. If you're dropping your offering off at the church, please use the mail slot in the middle office door of the church office building. Even if it appears that someone is in the office, please help us keep you, keep ourselves, and keep our families safe. We have small groups and Bible studies that are meeting online, so see that e-blast for the connection info for all of those. We also want to encourage you to continue checking in with one another with a phone call or a text, especially as this pandemic goes on and on and on. We continue to need connection with one another, frankly now more than ever. So please utilize those opportunities to connect. They are so, so worth it, I promise you. We have two opportunities to connect and check in and gather together in fellowship and conversation during the week. Both of those are on the Zoom video conferencing platform, although you can also simply call into the line using any phone. On Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. at our regularly scheduled faith formation time, Pastor Janelle and I host a Sunday morning check-in and faith formation conversation. And on Wednesday afternoons at 4.30 p.m., we are continuing with our Wednesday afternoon happy hour check-in. The links and the info for both of those can be found in that Thursday afternoon e-blast I just mentioned. Also, church, we want to encourage you to please continue to give your offering during this time as you are able. You can mail in your offering or bring it by the office. Our mail is hand delivered by our postal service. As I said, if you're dropping it by the office, please make use of that mail slot in the middle office door of our office building. You can also church very easily give online using a debit or a credit card. The link for that is listed down in the description. I want to say thank you again for your incredible generosity and your continued generosity during this time, church. Because of you, we have been able to begin some projects around campus that we will show you and talk more about at our congregational meeting at the end of September. Tremendous thanks to everyone who has already contributed to our capital campaign, the new AC, AC system for the South Side classrooms in our community center is so close to being done. Um, and it is chilly in there, so, so get ready, um, bring your jackets. You've also heard me mention the electrical problems in the sanctuary. We are using this time to address some grounding issues and install some new protections for our most, ex uh, for our most expensive electronic components. We had already planned to do an audiovisual overhaul in the sanctuary as part of our capital campaign. But with the new realities of this pandemic, we know that we will need to offer some form of, of in-person and online hybrid type worship for a while. We are working through the sanctuary AV bids right now. As I said, we're receiving final bids for those that will include the ability to live stream and record our services when we are able to gather back together in person. All of this means that we are getting close, but we're still not quite ready to begin in-person worship again. We are working as hard as we can to get us back to a good place where we are ready to welcome you back when we are finally able to regather together in person. Over these next weeks, church, we want to encourage you to please continue to be mindful of your exposure to others. We are not out of the woods yet, as I said, so please continue to be cautious uh, with your engagement with other people. And we also want to encourage you to continue to, be, to look for ways to be the hands and feet 
and heart of Christ in a world that is in desperate need of that, because that too is all the more important. So please take care of yourselves and please check in on your neighbors and friends. If there's anything that I or that we at the church can do uh, for you from simply praying with you uh, to going out and grabbing groceries, running errands for you, however we can be of help, please let us know. Give me a call, shoot me a text, uh, call the office, shoot us emails, whatever. Uh, let us know and we will try to do what we can. Be well, church. Our prayers continue to be with you and your families. Care for one another. Be compassionate, be kind, be loving. Be patient with each other. Show grace to one another. Look for opportunities to help. Look for opportunities to serve. Look for the good. Keep your eyes and your ears open to the ways that Christ and God continue to show up in our world, and we will see you soon.